Hey guys, what's up? This is another one of my videos that I'm going to be doing in a series of videos. We're talking about helping young guys in certain situations in life. Um, now, I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. I've just had a lot of these situations come up. I've talked about a lot of these situations online. Um, I've taken in experience from other people. We've looked at statistics about things. And uh, these are things that may help you kind of shortcut all the problems in life as you're growing up through like your your teens and your 20s and your 30s so you can either take the information and try to use it or just keep flipping through to the next video of watching Yu-Gi-Oh or something I don't know um Roblox um but anyway so I did one episode so far this is my second episode I do believe and uh since I don't really have a studio office right now because we have a six month old and he has taken over the house and taken away everybody's free time right now um i have to do a lot of these videos in my vehicle right now in between going to things but i want to take the time to try to help some people and uh, i hope that it's semi beneficial to you this video is going to be about um fitness and what a lot of these guys think is going to happen and what actually happens in the situations. Now, there are a lot of studies that say that women find physically fit men more attractive. And I find it surprising that I have to bring that up, but you have been led to believe and lied to for so long that girls don't go after that kind of thing that I have to bring this up. Now, it is not a straight jacket, okay? Every girl isn't going to be automatically attracted to you because you're physically fit, but you'll have a higher chance of women being attracted to you because you're physically fit. Does that make more sense? Because women go after different things in different parts of their life. Now, if you want more on that, you look at the rational male. He's got kind of the, the sexual lifeline of a woman, life cycle of a woman, broke down into different parts according to what she may do. And since you guys are in your 20s, I'm going to assume that you're going to be going after girls in your 20s. Um, and here's the factor with those kind of girls. I've talked about this in other videos before, but those kind of girls are higher value than you, technically, in a sexual marketplace. I'm not trying to say that automatically you don't have a chance with them, but they just showed up. Okay, and around 23 is the optimal age that a lot of guys like to go for in women. And uh, so if this girl's around 23, she's getting all the attention she could ever want to get. Now, it's your job to come there and say, I don't really care about that because I'm not those other guys. That's what you have to do in that situation. So here I am. If you don't like me, keep it moving. Um, but being physically fit gives you an edge, okay? Gives you an edge on health, gives you an edge on life because um, people tend to hire people that are more physically fit over people that aren't, according to certain jobs, okay? Now, if it's like a desk job, probably not. It's just going to be based on what you can do as a computer whiz. But every other job, probably going to be based on can you walk around without assistance. So, it'd be better on you to go ahead and get a job to where you were physically capable of doing it for longer. And... Uh, being physically fit kind of gives you that edge. Now, I've never had a problem getting a job, uh, but I haven't always been physically fit. I've just never been overweight. And, uh, well, not really overweight. I was like 225 at one point, which is a little big for my frame, if it's not muscle. Um, but once I lost down and got in shape, it changed my whole mindset, it changed my confidence level, things like that that you need. So, um, if that's the kind of thing um, I'm getting my screen shaky right now because I just took my pre-workout and my heartbeat is literally in my arm it was doing this right here to the screen if you can see that <laughs> so, it's like literally my heartbeat is in my arm right now um, but if you're trying to get physically fit to get girls or you're trying to get physically fit to do whatever in life because you're 20s let's, let's be honest all you guys really care about is girls um and you shouldn't, but that's all you care about. And I'm not going to be able to tell you any different because you're 20-something years old and you think you know everything. Um, but if you do want to get physically fit, I would 
say that the best programs that you can really do is a simple five by five program. That's where you're going to do uh, five. You're going to do five exercises, five sets of five. Okay. And so like you'll do a, maybe you'll break it down to an upper and lower day. And then like I'm saying, upper body, lower body day, like you do upper body one day and lower body the next day. Or you could do a push pull with a simple um, five by five on that. Or you could do the even more simplistic to where you go, um, you could go in there one day and do like uh, bench press. Next day you go in there and do squats. Next day you go in there and do uh, overhead press. The next day you go in there and do, um, say bench, squats, deadlift. And you could do those simple exercises and leave. And some people say, well, that's not enough. Yeah, it is. If you're new to this kind of thing, and you go in there and you do a bench press, and you do five sets of five, and you've never done it before, that's a lot for you. And uh, so then you can kind of work it into other exercises. Okay, I'm getting pretty good at, at bench press now. I think I can do a little bit of this chest press. I think I can do a little bit of this incline press. I think I can move up to all these exercises. And then I can go in there and do like chest and tries that day. Now I'm getting really good at it. And the reason, the reason I say do stuff like this is because certain muscles grow bigger from presses, not so much from isolations. Okay. And so that's something that you got to remember is your, like your triceps grow more from chest pressing exercises than they do from actually isolation workouts so you know the the bench press and stuff is helping you grow your your triceps a little bit and then you start doing other press exercises it's going to help that as well and uh so that's something to remember now that's a good way to get in shape and then you get your diet on point you start meal prepping your foods you start prepping all your foods beginning of the week breakfast lunch and dinner they're in the fridge, ready to go. And if you're a younger guy and you're still living with your parents, you just tell them, this is what I need. Or you go get it yourself. Whether you have a job now and you're still living with your parents, you can go get your food. And you'll just have to get some Tupperware. You'll just have to put it to the side. And that's the way it is. Um, any kind of thing that's worth having is worth sacrificing for. And you're going to have to sacrifice to get in shape. Oh my God, it's terrible. But once you do it, you're really going to start getting like, you're still really going to start to like it. You're going to start to want to do more and more and more and more until you get to the point where you can maintain it. And you're like, this is what I like. And uh, then you can tweak it and keep going. It's a never ending process. You can keep doing stuff as you get older. And so that's going to that's gonna be step one to getting you more confidence in life. Now, the problem with a lot of what people perceive in this situation is they think that I'm going to get fit, I'm going to get ripped, and the girls are going to be all over me. No, they're not. Um, it's going to be the opposite, okay? Once you get to a certain physical fitness, now you're starting to... Um, you're starting to scare some of the girls off. Because now you're physically fit and you're a little bit intimidating and you might be better looking in their brains than they are sometimes. Or they may not want to have somebody as good looking as them in a relationship. They may want to date somebody that is less attractive than them. So you're going to have to find those girls that are attracted to you the way you are. And then you're going to have to learn something called game. And that, that's a whole different topic. But if you think you're going to get physically fit and you're thinking you're going to start slamming girls left and right, uh, no, they're going to start using you and your attractiveness to get what they want in life. So don't be that gym sale that has no game in life, but he was a dork that got physically fit and then he thought that he was just going to date girls left and right. No, you need to be talking to women. You need to be learning women. You need to be learning what they do. You need to be learning how they play people. And things like that. That's going to be the only thing that helps you. Uh, the physically fit part is the part that gets you in the door. Because a lot of those girls won't even talk to some guys unless they are semi-physically fit. Now, when I say I'm physically fit, I'm saying not overweight. Has a um, broad shoulders. Tapered, uh, tapered chest. 
or waistline, kind of like a Doritos chip. Has the wide shoulders, tapered uh, midsection, uh, big arms, legs, chest, nice looking back, stuff like that. If you can do those things and get physically fit to where you look good in your clothes and look even better naked, you can do a lot with that confidence level. Um, especially if you're in a situation where you know you're physically attractive and the girl's talking to you and you kind of have the edge on her because you know you're so physically attractive and, you're, and you've got game and you've got something called irrational confidence and she can say nothing to hurt your feelings. That's when you got everything in the bag, boys. But I hope this helped you a little bit. Like I said, simple five by five workout. Get your uh, diet on point. When I say diet, chicken, rice, fish, steak. Lay off the pork. Um, lay off stuff out of boxes that you can't pronounce. Eat everything simple for a while. Watch the weight start to come off. And then once you get to the point where you can maintain, then you can do other things. I ate some of the kids' Halloween candy. Okay. Did I blow up? No. This morning I ate three pancakes and drank two glasses of orange juice and then ate eggs and bacon. Am I overweight? No. I just ate so many starbursts. Am I overweight? No. Because I maintained myself. And uh, that's something you guys have to remember. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comment in the comment section. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later and I'm out. Bye.